What's up guys, it's Josh from Cupid Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys my favorite music player in Linux. So, as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to show you guys my favorite music player that I use currently in my daily driver, which is Orch Linux. Now, this application can be used on all three platforms, Windows, Mac OS, as well as Linux, but I use it exclusively on Linux, uh, and it's an open source application. It's free, 100% usable by anybody if you want to, and this application is called Clementine. And I've been using this application for a couple of years now. And what I typically do is when I'm like barbecuing or doing something outside, I typically play music through a Bluetooth player and I just play random music and all that stuff. And it's all shared from my Linux server uh, and I connect to it using Clementine and I can control it by my phone. There is a way to connect to it and control it by your phone. But I just wanted to walk through this actual application, show you guys how to install it right fast, as well as some basic usage so you guys can check it out for yourself and see if this will work out for you when you're trying to manage music. If you have like a big music collection, which I have, this is one of those applications that works out great for your desktop. So let's get started. Okay, cool. So I'm at Clementine's website and I'll always link the, the application down in the description of the video, but the link is clementine-player.org. And this is the main page for it. It says Clementine Music Player. Uh, Clementine is a modern music player and library organizer. Uh, Clementine is multi-platform player. It is inspired by Amaruk. Uh, 1.4 focusing on fast and easy to use interface for searching and playing your music and the current version is Clementine 1.3.1 and as I stated earlier you're allowed to use it on all three platforms major platforms uh, Windows Mac OS X and Linux and then this is what I was talking about, the Clementine remote. They do have a remote for Android phones, so you can control it from your Android device on your home net network and everything. But here are some of, here's the about and features. Uh, so it says search and play your local music library. One cool thing about this application, it also uh, allows you to listen to internet radio from you know all those different platforms like spotify groove shark uh somo fm uh manatune and granted i don't use any of these but i also see soundcloud which is another big one and subsonic server so if, if you know someone with a subsonic server uh, you can actually connect to that as well but it also says search and play songs you've uploaded to box dropbox Google Drive and OneDrive, which is kind of like how I use it. Well, I just have a shared drive on my network that I can connect to from any computer. And this will allow me to access all my music that I have in that repository and play it. And then the next thing it says, create smart playlists. And this is one of the features that I use a whole lot uh, as far as playlists. And you can create what they call smart playlists and dynamic playlists. So they can kind of, based on your listening patterns, it'll, you know, generate playlists for you once you add all your music to it and it says tab playlist now that's one other thing i use as well you can have multiple tabs open with different playlists and you can go back and forth between those playlists uh and it's super cool it's kind of like a browser you know how you have your tabs at the top um it's got tabs for the playlist and you can name each one of your playlists let's say you're like a dj or something or you're trying to get into djing you can actually use this application to de kind of dj uh at like a party or something but uh it says uh q sheet uh support play audio cds uh visualization from project m and then lyrics and artists, bi biographies and photos, 
uh, transcode music from MP3, OGG Verbos, uh, OGG Specs, uh, Flack, and ACC. AAC, I'm sorry. And then it says edit tags on MP3s and OGG files. And a lot of this stuff you can do on a lot of modern, you know, music players. You can go through and do a lot of this stuff as well. But this one, like I stated, is kind of my favorite. I'm not going to, you know, talk about it too much. But it's uh, it says native desktop notifications. That's one thing I like about it. Uh, it pops up with the next song. So when you're listening to something it'll pop up with the the next song that's actually playing and you can pause it you know move to the next you know kind of like all other music players that are out there a lot of them have those features in there but last thing like i was saying you know the remote control using an android device a wi-fi remote or empress or the command line so you can manage the music from the command line or control it from the command line which is super dope you know i i like the command line and so i always try to you know play around with things on the command line and then also here is some of the screenshots for it and i'll go down and uh get to the install portion that way you guys can see what it's all about okay and so one other thing i wanted to show you guys that it is in the arch repository so if you're using arch you can you know go through and find it in this clement time there we go and that's the package name so uh, i'll just bring it up right fast so you guys can kind of see the application itself uh, so you 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 don't have to you know install it from the AUR like I stated it's in the main repository so uh, you get to go with that. Now let's go ahead on and install it. I have a Manjaro uh, virtual machine booted up. I just want to walk through the installer right fast. But you can install this on other distributions of uh, Linux like Ubuntu, Debian. Uh, this application will work on it, no problem but I'm not sure if it's in those main repositories, but I know for sure it's in the Arch repository. So let's go on and uh, get over to my Manjaro virtual machine and we can go through the install right fast and just show you guys a little bit about it. Okay, cool. So we're at my virtual machine right now. Uh, let's go on and install it right fast. And you guys know I like to use the command line, but for demonstration purposes, I'll go down and do it through the software center. So let's go add remove software and then we can search for it right fast. So Clementine and there we go. So Clementine plays music files and internet radio. I'm gonna click on it right fast. You know, it has the screenshots, the summary, all that summary information we just read, but I'm gonna install it through the software center, like I said. Uh, so let's hit apply uh type in my password and let's go through the install right fast and uh this is the dependencies for the application so this just gives you a transaction summary if you guys never seen this before that's basically what it does in here uh, when you're installing anything uh similar to you know how it shows it in the terminal when you're installing an application it'll go through and show you guys the dependencies but good to go so now it's installed i'm gonna just go down and close this and then go find it in the start menu and we actually we can type type it in so clementine play music and last fm stream so let's go down and open this thing up and one thing i'm gonna do right fast is actually connect to my share drive so let's try this right fast that way we can have some music on here to actually see um so let's go smb port four slash four slash 192.168.10.50 and press enter and then i do have a music directory and i believe i have anonymous created yeah so let's uh just mount it basically what i did was just mount it that way uh and it'll you know stay until i unmount it uh, it'll stay in that location. So I'm gonna go through and add one of these 
directories right fast so so one thing we have to do is uh let's go into preferences which i was going to kind of show you guys that or we can click on files it doesn't matter but one thing i like to do is go in here so you guys can kind of see exactly what i'm doing but it says music library that's what you kind of want to go under and this will allow you to add your folders and then there is some automatic updating so when you make changes to that directory it'll automatically update it all and uh as you can see sy synchronization statistics to files now you know and i'll also add in the album art and file names and all that good stuff so let's go uh add folder boom and all we have to do is find that directory let's see it should be mounted hold on let's go up one and let's actually go and let's actually go to my run directory I'm assuming that's where it is. Uh, so let's go run. And it's typically under, let's see, user. And then 1000 and what, GV, GVFS? Yeah, and that's just Samba share right there. Uh, and if you guys don't know this directory, this is directory or one of the directories where um, samba shares or anything that you mount on your system is located so it's run user you know your user account then gvfs and then you'll see the share there where it's mounted and then you can add your directories there so one thing i'm gonna do is add the i don't know the it doesn't matter i'm not gonna play any of this music uh so i'm gonna add something short and i think the soundtracks no let's add the the reggae folder uh, so let's just press choose and there we go so that file location is there or that music library is there so let's go down and hit apply and press ok and then you'll start seeing the stuff start populating so as you can see you know this is the smart playlist up here at the top so 50 random tracks all tracks dynamically random you know all that good stuff right there it'll create some stuff for you and then it'll also break out your music that you have on here and as you can see i only have a, a few raggae uh style albums but one cool thing about it each album you know underneath that artist you know is listed out you'll start seeing over time it populating the actual uh album information so whenever you play something uh it'll like for instance let's do this let's append to current boom it may start showing it'll show the album information it'll start downloading that stuff from the internet uh and start playing all that or start showing that information back here but they have a lot of options in this thing you know as far as just playing things um as you can see you know here's the search uh so this allows you to search and this allows you to connect to a whole bunch of things like uh what i was saying like the whole uh radio you know subsonic servers your radio streams and then now here are some sources and you have to you know enable them obviously and log in to your accounts but uh onedrive spotify c file you know dropbox google drive icecast fox you know a lot of a lot of different things and it says why not try exodus so they have exodus uh not sure what exodus is that may be one of the albums i'm not sure uh because i see some of the orders that are in the directories that i have or the files that i added to the to the library but you can go through your files so this will allow you to kind of manage going through your files as well um playlists so once you create playlists save favorite playlists you know they'll pop up in here uh because once you create this playlist let's say you created this playlist right here for molly uh burning uh, and i save that playlist and i can go through and select it for later you know for whatever reason or uh, or whenever you want to play that playlist that you put together using your files and then here we go with the internet so you can this will allow you once you connect to some of this stuff and log into your accounts uh you can access those directories from there and you know just hit the plus arrow it'll drop down show you the file directories or the structures that you have access to now here we go with devices so you can you know mount devices like dvds you know all that good stuff
now song info artist info so that just gives you some information about the song and the artist depending on what's playing so like for instance uh i think it's still bringing down information from the internet uh it shouldn't have taken this long because i only use a small amount of files but let's go back into the preferences right fast and then we can actually go up to the music library and and we should be able to force a rescan or something let's go back hold on let's hit cancel let's go here um and under tools let's see yeah you can do a, a full library rescan you can force it you know i'm not sure why it's not showing up the album information i know a lot of them um a lot of album information is pulled in for my you know main system i'm not sure why it's not pulling in, in here for some reason it's just not pulling being pulled in for whatever reason maybe it has something to do with the the way this virtual machine is set up but anyway this is pretty much everything about clementine it's not that easy it's not that hard of a uh, piece of software to figure out once you start playing with it uh, you can go through it when you play something what it does is it automatically uh, burns the songs together so to speak uh, and I'm not sure if that's the right term but you know how it'll overlap the songs a little bit you know it'll it'll start uh, bringing down the volume of the current track and bringing up the volume of the other track so kind of like a crossover uh so to speak uh for all the songs on there and i'm sure you can go in and change that if you don't want it to do that but i like it that way you know it's super cool to have the songs transition you know what i'm saying so check this application out i wanted to make this video kind of short uh, just to show you guys or give you guys an overview of this actual application so you can play around with it yourself, you know, and just if you have a big collection of music files, then this is a great application you should want to try out. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comment boxes below. And of course, keep it techy.